Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm back with another game in our New Jersey general season. And today, we're going to be playing at home against the Boston Patriots of 1968. Now, the Boston Patriots weren't a very good team. As you can see, even in our league, they're 1-3. They've scored 48 points and allowed 84. And uh, our generals have scored 69 and allowed just 44 points in four games. So we're only allowing 11 points a game. Awesome. But, you know, that's a, the classic trap game where we'll, we'll end up losing, but hopefully not. So anyway, we're three and one coming into this game, leading the division by a game over the 1995 Buffalo Bills. And um, and what's really good is it looks like the Bills may be our only competition really the entire year because the Boston Patriots are one and three, the New York Jets of whatever year I've got them is one and three, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are oh three and one. So I, the 70, that's a 77 Steelers. Unbelievable. So, uh, you know, I mean, really, you got to think that sooner or later, the 77 Steelers are going to come back and, and make a um, make a charge. But maybe not, because as I pointed out, I think in, a, in the game that I did against the Steelers, the 77 Steelers have Terry Bradshaw. And they have Terry Bradshaw of the 70s, which was a, a classic 70s quarterback who only really passed when um, <clears throat> when a, a definite passing situation came up and, you know, it didn't pass a lot is what I'm saying, or not as much as today's quarterbacks do. And when he did pass, he passed downfield. So his completion percentage wasn't as high as quarterbacks today who do dump off passes and look in passes and things like that. He wasn't nearly that accurate because he didn't, he passed downfield uh, to get a lot of yards further downfield. And that's how all the quarterbacks of that time were him, Joe Ferguson, um, Steve Grogan. Those quarterbacks don't have high uh, completion percentages. And in a league with other um, quarterbacks and teams that have other quarterbacks that are more recent, like Drew Brees, who has an extremely high um, completion percentage, they're not going to do as well. But anyway, uh, let's stop yapping and get on with the game. Play one week. Kansas City playing the Jets, I can only imagine. <clears throat> and we wait for these games to complete so that we can get our game going against Boston. I'm really looking forward to this game. Because it's a team, really, we should beat up on. Like, beat up on. I always forget to turn the sound down. All right, so we're going to launch the game. And uh, we're kicking off. To the Patriots. And we're going to maybe hem them. No, we're not. We're not going to hem them up. I thought we might. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to look for the run. And they do run it. And we still only, I mean, we still allow them to get three yards. All right, I shouldn't be so upset about that. I'm going to look for the run again. They do run, and this time we get Gamble in the backfield or, well, for no gain. So now we are looking for the pass. 
and he has a third and seven from his own 30. And he runs it, but we get him. Good. And we're going to put in the punt return. Yeah, this may not be a tough game. Swanson to punt. I'm going to return it. And we're not going to get any yards or maybe one. All right, so we're going to go out of the pro set and end run with the halfback walker. And yeah, he got some yards, that's nice. I'm going to go out of the pro set again. Off tackle with Walker. And he only got maybe a yard there, two yards. Got a third and three. Um, yeah, let's go tight end and line buck with Carthon. And Carthon just barely gets the first down. We got a first and 10, gonna go end run with Walker. And he gets a few yards, three. Let's go off tackle with Carthon out of the tight end. And he almost got a first down, not quite. We got a third and three though. Now I am going to do a flat pass to spec the tight end. The primary tight end and he does get the first down and we keep the chains moving let's go off tackle with Walker and this time they get him in the backfield we got a second and ten at Boston's 43 I'm gonna go short to the flanker And that's completed for a first down and just a tad more. So we got a first and 10 at Boston's 31. Uh, I'm gonna go out of the pro set and then I'm going to change the fullback to Calhoun. And then we're gonna go line buck with Calhoun. who ironically played for the New England Patriots, and he gets a few yards. Second and six, I'm gonna go back to the pro set, and I'm gonna take Walker out, and we're gonna put in Clarence Harmon, and I am going to go um, off tackle with Harmon. And Harmon is going to get a lot of yards. Love that. Nice breakaway run by Harmon. So uh, we're going, we're first and 10 at the Boston 14. I'm going to go short pass to Bowens, the second tight end. And he catches it for a touchdown. And we move the ball right down the field methodically and scored on him. I mean, all right, it is the Boston Patriots, but. And Ruzik on for the kick, which you would have to think is automatic in most cases. And we're ahead 7 nothing. we're kicking off, and we're gonna get the ball in the second half too. But it's too, or a little too early to start talking about that, though there is 6.58 left in the first quarter. I'm gonna look for the run. I don't even know who Sherman is, but whoever he is, he can't be that good. It's incomplete. Now I'm going to look for the pass because he's got to be geared to have to pass. He's down by seven and he had all the time in the world. And I'm going to, yes, interception, interception. And I'm going to try to gain some yards with it. We don't get any though. 
All right, so we got a first and 10. Um, I'm going to go back to the uh, back to the pro set. Going to put Clarence Harmon in. Yeah, okay. Just put him in. And we're going to go off tackle with Harmon. And he gets a few yards. Trying to rest up the guys, you know. I don't want I don't want to wear everybody out because I am going to do a lot of running this game. Pro set. Take Carthon out. Put in Calhoun. And then go line buck with Calhoun. And Calhoun get a little breakaway for Don Calhoun. So we got a first and 10 at the Boston 32. Um, yeah, let's go there. Let's go line buck with Carthon. And Carthon gets a few yards. We got a second and four. Let's go off tackle with Walker. And he almost got the first down. Third and one, I'm gonna go line buck with Carthon. Seems pretty safe. Oh no, we got a flag on the play and it's on us. Oh, oh no, it was on them. So we got a first and 10, we're at Boston's 18, nice. So let's go out of the pro set again. Let's get Peegs in there. We wanna get Peegs a little running time. Off tackle with Peegs. And Peegs is going to run it for a touchdown. Peegs. Are you kidding me? All right, so we're going to kick it. And that puts us up 14 nothing, with a little over three minutes left in the first quarter still. And they are returning from the uh, one or two there, and uh, they don't even get back to the 15. So they got a first and 10 at their 14. I'm gonna look for the run. I mean, they I don't know what they can do. Ah, uh, we're off sides though. And they passed anyway, and they'll probably take the... They got a first and 10 at the Boston 30, or 27. I'm gonna look for the run. We do look for the run, and we get him in the backfield. <clears throat> He's got a second and 10 from the Boston 27. I'm going to look for the pass now. And it's Sherman out on his own, and he's bootlegging. He doesn't get the first down, though, so they've got a third and four. I'm going to look for the pass. And there is a flag. And we're going to accept the penalty because he got the first down. So now he has a third and 14. We're going to look for the pass, definitely. And, uh, yeah, sacking him would have been good. But anyway, we do stop him, so he's going to have to punt. Swanson on to punt. <laughs> I am going to try to run the run with the ball, and I don't get any yards. Let's, you know what? First and ten. I want to air it out. Let's try a long to the flanker. Let's see what their long pass defense is like. Uh, it's well, you incomplete, whatever it was. So, of course, that puts us in passing downs immediately. We got to go short to the flanker. Might be the first time we don't score. But maybe it will be because we get the first down. We got a first and 10 at the New Jersey 47. Um, let's put in Peegs again. 
I mean, Peegs was loving it so much he got a lot of yards last time. Let's do that and then go line buck with Peegs. Uh, we're going to get caught in the backfield there. Second and 11. Uh, I'm going to go flat pass to spec. And he does get, well, he doesn't get the first down, but he gets a lot of yards. We got a third and five at the Boston 48. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to just go flat pass to the flanker. Oh, he got caught in the backfield. Fourth and nine. I mean, really, really, we should punt, but this is the Patriots, but I'm going to still punt. Uh, let's let's do a coffin corner. I don't really think a coffin corner is exactly uh, applicable here, and it really wasn't. And that was a terrible coffin corner punt. But um, let's go looking for the run. And he does run, and we get him in the backfield. I'm gonna. Run and key on Gamble. And he does run it with Gamble, and we do get him after only one yard. And we are going to look for the pass now. And there is a flag on the play. I'm going to decline the penalty because he's going to punt. Try to catch and run with it, and this time, that was a good idea. We're going to get a lot of yards off the catch and run. And a real lot of yards. Crazy amount of yards. So we got a first and 10 at the Boston 28, 12-21 left in the half. Um, let's go short to the flanker. Even though really the run has been working... I'm guessing this is a defense that's not good against anything. Um, and they got Rod Peegs out there already, so let's just go with that. And go line buck with Peegs. And Peegs almost got to the first down marker. There's a third, we got a third and two at the Boston 20. I'm going to go line buck with Walker. And he gets the first down. We've got a first and 10 at the Boston 17. 10 31 left. Let's go short to, uh, let's go short to the second tight end. I mean, that play worked last time for a touchdown, the first time for a touchdown. And it might, no, it doesn't. But it is first and goal, and we will go off tackle with Walker. And Walker only gets a yard or two. Second and goal, we're going to go end run with Walker. And Walker is going to get it in for a touchdown. He got past the first guy who got into the backfield and then just ran it for a touchdown. We're going to kick the extra point and be loving it. And it's 21 nothing. So this game so far is playing out exactly as I thought it might. Now usually that doesn't happen. Usually I think it'll go one way and it goes the other. But anyway, there is a really good punt return, kickoff return by this guy, though. And uh, so they got a, they've got it deep in our end, as deep in our end as they've ever been. They're at the New Jersey 33 with a first and 10. And I'm going to look for the run. 
and Sherman's passing, which is not a good idea, ever. Um, I'm going to go back to the 3-4, though, and look for the run. And he does run, and we get him in the backfield. So he's got a third and 10 from the 33. That's even a long field goal. There's no, no guarantees he would even make a field goal from there. I am putting in the pass defense, though, against the awesome Sherman who throws an incomplete pass. And there's fourth and 10. I'm going to put in the punt return because that's what he's doing. He's punting. He knew he wasn't going to make a field goal from there. So, all right, let's go draw play with Carthon. And my God, Carthon with a breakaway run. Nice. Let's go end run with Walker. Uh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. That sucks. All right, second and 11, I'm going to go short to the flanker. And that's going to be on target. Man, Sype is on top of his game today. In fact, let's see where we are right now. Box score. Sherman's only one for five for 13 yards, but Sype is nine of 10. For a touchdown and no interceptions. A 130.8 rating right now. All right. So we have a first and 10 at the New Jersey 43. Let's go with that again. Let's go flat to the second tight end, Bowen. And that is going to be another completed pass. Sype is on top of his game today. First and 10 at the Boston 46. Uh, we're going to go out of the pro set. Let's bring in Calhoun again. And we're going to go line buck with Calhoun. Love Don Calhoun. And he gets some yards too. 5-10 left, a second and six at the Boston 42. Let's go with Don Calhoun again. Line buck with Calhoun. Line buck with Calhoun and he gets the first down. First and 10 at the Boston 36. Um, I'm gonna do a look in pass to the second tight end Bowen. And Sype can do no wrong today. Second and one. And now he wants me to put the pro set in. Thanks. And we'll go line buck with Carthon. And they were offsides. Uh, I'm going to accept the penalty, though. We have a first and 10 at the Boston 22. I'm going to put in Rod Peegs, and we're going to go draw play to Peegs. Got to get the guys playing time. I'm going to go draw play to Carthon on second and nine, and he does not get the first down. Got a third and six. I'm going look in tonight. It's probably not going to get a first down, though. It does. It does barely get a first down. First and 10 at the Boston 12, 227 left. Now I'm going short. I'm going for the touchdown to spec. And that is the second incompletion for sight. Second and 10 at the Boston 12. I'm going to go short to the flanker Collins. And he's, man, now he's incomplete there too. Third and 10 from the Boston 12. Well, 
I mean, now you really got to go pass. So, pass to the split end night. And that was completed. But uh, we have, well, fourth and four, he wants me to go for it, but I'm not going to. I am going to. Uh, We're going to kick, oh, okay, no, he didn't really want me to go for it. Yeah, all right, we're going to kick the field goal. And this is to go up 24 nothing, And that is exactly what we do. 24 nothing. Now, I did get a comment on one of my games. Uh, the, I think it was after the last game I got the comment that the US the good USFL teams are made better than they would be in an actual in in an in NFL competition which is probably true because they're made to be played against US other USFL teams and therefore this New Jersey team might be a lot better then they, it might play a lot better relative to the competition I'm going up against than it, than it would or than it should. And they ran the ball with, uh, with Jim Nance. So, uh, um, I mean, that's possible. Let's, let's look for the run. That is a possible theory. I can't say that that's not true. And we're gonna chase Nance out of, uh, out of bounds and he loses yards. They have a second and 14 at their 38 with 45 seconds left. I mean, really, the guy has to pass. He can't he can't be fooling around with runs. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I know it's the only thing you can do. Well, no, it, with Nance, though, well, I'm gonna accept the penalty for sure. So he's got a second and 24 at the Boston 28 with 37 seconds left. And again, if you wanna run Nance, you just go ahead and you know, and that's exactly what he does, and we get him in the backfield. Third and 23 at the Boston 29, eight seconds left. And dude, you got to pass. I mean, I'm, you know, you're not going to run Nance all the way into the end zone. And we intercepted it, and I'm going to try to return it, but um, that's not going to help. Well, maybe it will. Maybe it will. No, Nance makes the tackle. Are you kidding me? We got a second left, and we are going to kick the field goal. That's for sure. So he got he got picked off. It was almost a pick six, but it wasn't. But we do get another. Uh, three points. And look at that. New York actually beat Kansas City. The 83 New York Jets beat Kansas City 14-3. Wow. All right. So anyway, we're going to go back to our game. And they are kicking off to us. 27-0. It's a beautiful score. And we get out past the 20. Um, you know what? I should even really put in a different quarterback. Let's go. Let's go pro set. And I don't even know Gene, Bra Gene Bradley. I don't even know who Gene Bradley is, but let's give him a shot. Let's see if he can go do a flat pass to the flanker. Just to give Sype a little bit of a breather. You know, and he does. Gene Bradley completes the pass for a lot of yards, too. All right, so let's go back to the pro set. Um, we'll go back to Gene Bradley just so that he's the quarterback on the play. But we're really what we're going to do is we're going to go to Peegs off tackle.
Uh, this time he gets caught way in the backfield. So we got a second and 12 at the New Jersey 40. Um, put in Gene Bradley. What was his completion percentage? Oh, it was 100%. Um, let's go flat to the second tight end, Bose. And he completes it and almost a first down, but not quite. We got a third and two. I'm going to go line buck with Carthon. There is movement on our line, though. So now we got a third and seven. Let's go short to the flanker. And that is complete for a first down and a little more. We got a first and 10 at the Boston 41. I'm going to go off tackle with Walker. Walker gets a few yards. We got a second and six. 11.39 left on the third quarter and a second and six from the Boston 37. Let's go line buck with Carthon. And he's going to get the first down right up the linebacker's butt. So we got a uh, first and 10 from the Boston 30. Um, let's replace Sipe with Gene Bradley again. And then let's go uh, look in pass to the second tight end, Bowes. And he gets the first down and a lot more. We're getting everybody in this game. Bose, Bradley, Peegs, Harmon. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see if he can throw a short pass. Gene Bradley. Yeah, I know. I know the stat. We got Gene Bradley in there, and he's going to throw short to the flanker. Incomplete for Gene Bradley. Second and 10. Let's try it again with Gene Bradley. Short to the tight end spec. And he misses it too. He misses that too. Third and 10 from the Boston 17. All right, we'll let Sype try to complete a pass to the flanker for a touchdown. <laughs> Let's see if that's exactly what happens. And that is exactly what happens. Did I call it? <laughs> All right, and we are going to kick the extra point. Yes. So it is only 34 nothing. I don't know what he's upset about. Maybe nothing. <laughs> Maybe this was expected. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> well, now we, I mean, we're just going to put in the pass. We're just going to pin our ears back and put in the pass because if you want to run the ball, you're more than welcome to run it. That's incomplete put in the pass. I mean, there's no game plan that the 68 Boston Patriots could possibly have for being down 34 <clears> nothing in the game. So and we stopped him just before it and he is going to punt. Yes. 
that's kind of, I mean, see, and this is another thing. It's not only an advantage because I have a USFL team that was a good USFL team and is probably good relative to NFL teams. But I also have, you know, I'm playing against the computer algorithm, which probably says, you know, punt the ball whenever in our end and whatever, you know, losing and we have a lot of yard or whatever. And doesn't even consider that the only way they're going to get 34 points is if they score every time they have the ball. So anyway, let's put in Gene Bradley at quarterback. Let's put in Don Calhoun at fullback. And let's put in Peegs at halfback. And then I'm going to go line buck with Calhoun. Oh, Calhoun. He lost a yard. Let's, oh wait, cancel. Let's put in Gene Bradley. See if he can do a flat pass to the tight end spec. And no, he misses that. Third and 11, we got to have Sype come in and rescue us again. Short pass to the flank. I mean, I don't, I think we've only not, oh, he's going to get sacked. So they had, they knew that one. They saw that one coming a mile away. So we're going to punt. And there is a penalty on the play. And the guy runs right past our first tackler, but I'm going to accept the penalty. I mean, I don't know what, but we just definitely want to accept the penalty. Still fourth and 17. Not like I would have decided to go for it. But at least we can try to get him a little further back. And he just catches it right there, and that's where they're going to start with the ball. And I'm looking for the pass. I mean, at least the algorithm tells him he has to pass. It's incomplete. Looks like I'm going to accept the penalty and back him up. So he's got a first and 20 at the Boston 42. And then he runs the ball with Jim Nance. The announcer for the CBS. No, I, <laughs> I don't think it's the same guy, but... Uh, there's a second and 12 at the Boston 50. I'm go We're really at midfield, and I'm going to put in the pass. He runs the ball, and of course it works because we were looking for the pass. He's got a first and 10 at the New Jersey 37. I'm going to put in the pass defense. I mean, that's frankly what I should be putting in. And it's incomplete. Second and 10 from the New Jersey 37. I'm going to put in the pass. 448 left in the third quarter. And he's got a third and seven. I'm putting in the pass, obviously. And he runs and we stop him. And now he's got a decision to make. And he is going to put the offense on the field. He really does have to do that. We have the pass defense in, and it didn't work. He completed the pass for a first down, which is really all he had to do for the moment. So we're going to have the pass defense in. Three minutes left. And I'm going to accept the penalty, yes. He's got a first and 20 from, his, from our 31. And he runs the ball. Doesn't get a lot of yards. He has a second and 15 from the 26, from the New Jersey 26. He runs the ball again. We do stop him again from not getting a first down. Now he has a third and nine. And this time he's bootlegging with the quarterback, but we get him. 
So now he's going to kick a field goal, which I guess is the best he really could hope for. And he does get it, so they do have three points. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to accept the penalty. Because maybe he doesn't make the field goal this time. Although this is Gino Capaletti, so he probably does. But... And he does make the field goal. So, you know, because remember, not only am I trying to win the game, which obviously is going to happen now. 20 seconds left in the third quarter, and I'm up 34-3. But... I am also holding our league competition to a ridiculously low number, 11 points per game. So I also don't want that. And now look at this. He's, he's putting those guys in for me. He's like, all right, yeah, I know you want to do this. Calhoun on a line butt. And Calhoun only gets a yard. No, he gets no gain. So now it is 15 minutes left in the game. Um, Let's go flat to the tight end. And that will be completed for a first down and a little more for to spec. So we got a first and 10 at the 30. Let's go off tackle with Walker. And he runs into a, a brick wall. Let's go off tackle with Carthon. And he gets a couple yards. So we got a third and six. I'm going to go flat pass. Let's go flat pass to Walker. And he is offside. We got a free play. And we are going to accept the penalty for sure. Third and one. All right. Third and one. Let's go line buck with Walker. And he doesn't make it, but fourth and one, I am definitely, I'm, no, I'm going, I'm going for it. And we're going to go line buck with Carthon. And he makes it, and a little more, a little bit greedy there if I wanted to, or a little bit, uh, if I want to hold him to... A really, really low number of points. That was kind of a risky play, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go short to the tight end, and he gets sacked. Got a second and fifteen at the thirty-eight. Let's go short to the flanker. And that's incomplete. All right, third and 15. Now I think you're you're breaking out. Um, two tight end, two wide receiver. Short pass to the split end. And it's incomplete, and we have to punt. Now, if I didn't care about our points allowed total, I would just probably go for it every time. And we stop him after no gain on the return. So Boston has it first and 10 at their own 29. I'm going to go pass. And he runs the ball. I have to assume he's going to try to run the ball. So we're going to go to the 3-4. Now I'm going to look for the run. And now he passes. Of course, working in my favor is he has what's apparently a terrible quarterback. Second and 10, okay, and I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs. See? Third and three, I'm not believing he's going to pass. I'm going to look for the run. 
I might even run and key on gamble. And he does run it with gamble, and I do key on him, and I do stop him. And he has a fourth and four. All right, I'm going to look for the pass only because it really is risky. Then we stopped him. Good. Let's go look into the second tight end. And Brad, now they even put Bradley back in. And Bradley gets the first down with that pass. 30, 34-3. We have the ball in the Boston 40. Let's go short to the flanker, McConaughey. If McConaughey makes a catch, that's the first, I think it'll be the first catch he has. And did he catch it? It doesn't matter because it was a penalty on us. So now we got to go short to the flanker, McConaughey, again. And they picked off Bradley. Who saw that coming? And McConaughey, you can make the tackle if you want. But no, he doesn't. And now that puts our... That puts our... Uh, well, he's right at our pretty much our uh, point allowed total of 10. I mean, it was 11, but basically. So now I can't allow him any more points. There's only 652 left in the game though, so that may not be too tough. Nice return by Hackett though. Don't tell me the punter's going to make the... He does. The punter makes the tackle. All right. But we have a first and 10 at the Boston 47. Let's go line buck with Carthon. And he gets a couple yards. Three yards. Got a second and seven. Off tackle with Walker. And he gets nothing. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Walker. Literally. All right, we got a third and seven. Got to go. I'm going to go flat to spec. And there is a penalty on the play, but he's letting us play, so maybe it's on them. And he gets the first down. But I'll accept. Let's see ball on Boston 22. Yeah, I'm going to accept the penalty. So we got a first and 10 at the Boston 22. <clears throat> Let's go off tackle with Walker. He gets a couple of yards. All right, we got a nice backfield there. That's what I want to see. So let's go flat pass. Bradley at quarterback to the second tight end. And he makes he makes a completed pass. <coughs> excuse me, for first down. Um let's go off tackle with Peaks. And Peaks got some nice yards there. Second and four at the Boston six. 317 left. Line buck with Harmon. And Harmon's going to score a touchdown. And we're going to go up 41 to 10. As Ruzik nails the uh, extra point. And we're kicking off. 2.59 left. We just have to stop him from scoring. And he'll be right on our um, average points allowed. He gets a good return, though. Um, I'm going to put in the pass, but God knows he'll probably run. Well, he doesn't there. We had the pass in. Was that incomplete? 
that was incomplete. Second and ten. Going to put in the pass. First or second and ten from his thirty-two. He runs the ball. We get him quickly, which is good. Third and nine. We're going to put in the pass. And we sack him. He's got a fourth and 15 from his 27. Has to go for it, of course. No, he punting. All right, well. Ain't going to score points that way, buddy. And this time, they're not even going to give me the choice. They're just going to let the ball bounce, which is probably good. All right, minute 22 left. Uh, tight end formation in Bradley out there. Let's go look in pass to the second tight end. Bradley incomplete. Uh, let's go line buck with Peegs. And Peegs gets stopped quickly. 30 seconds left. Let's go flat to um, Brown. And it's incomplete. Or Bowers or whoever that was. All right, we'll punt. I mean, there's only 22 seconds left. And we do get him. 15 seconds left. We're going to put in the pass, and we're going to even double-team a receiver. We might as well. And he runs the ball and gets some yards out of it. He has a second and three with eight seconds left. I'm going to put in the pass defense. He runs the ball, and we stop him pretty quickly. He has a first and ten at the 46 with only one second left. So we're putting in the definite pass defense. And he runs the ball. And we will catch him. So that's the game. Game over. So let's take a look at these beautiful stats. Um, final score was New Jersey 41, Boston 10. Tom Sherman was 3 for 13 for 35 yards and two interceptions. His rating was zero. He had a zero quarterback rating. Brian Sipe was 17 of 22, 157 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. He had a quarterback rating of 126.5, and Gene Bradley was 11 for 5 for 61 yards and an interception, which was only a 25.2 rating. They had uh, rushing the ball. They had Gene Thomas at 10 rushes for 47 yards, Jim Nance, 6 for 25 yards, R.C. Gamble, 6 for 20 yards, Tom Sherman, 3 for 11, and Larry Guerin, 3 for 12. We had Herschel Walker rush 14 times for 26 yards, which was only a 1.9 average, but one touchdown. Maurice Carthon ran nine times for 53 yards. Peegs rushed seven times for 28 yards and a touchdown. Calhoun rushed six times for 28 yards. And Clarence Harmon rushed three times for 23 yards and a touchdown. So we really kind of, we did spread the ball out pretty well there. Um, Walker got, obviously got the most of the carries, but he didn't get a full game's worth usually for him. And receiving stats are receiving stats. Um, of course, you know, Bowers... Bowers was pretty good. He had seven receptions for 77 yards and a touchdown. So that is it for us from New Jersey, the New Jersey Generals. And let's let's see what that 
That makes us four and one, and we are still only a game ahead of the 95 Bills. And in five games, we have allowed 54 yards. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke, signing off.